Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is uh, Shmo Daddy, and I wanted to show some uh, books that I picked up. And uh, actually, to begin with, I um, actually made a little trade with uh, Tom Hippies Collectibles. He, uh, I saw that he had a bunch of some autographs, you know, and he had a couple extra of a few of them that I was really interested in. I was really interested in a satchel page that he had. I just, I, a shot in the dark, asked him if he would possibly be willing to trade it to me, and didn't think he would. You know, I mean, I wouldn't be mad at him if he didn't, but. Um, Thankfully, he was very he was very kind about it. He did. Um, he just sent this to me, which I was thrilled and ecstatic to get. I've always I've always dreamed about getting a Satchel Page autograph. So I mean, it's incredible. Signed by Satch down there. Um, yeah, one of my favorite favorite ball players from the old times. You know. Uh, thank you so much, Tom, for sending this to me. Your book should be out tomorrow, I'd say. Yeah, I've got them ready. I didn't get a chance to get the post outs today, but I'm gonna try to get it out tomorrow for you. Thank you again. One of the great ball players, one of the greatest pitchers that didn't get a pitch in the big leagues that much. He only got a couple of years in the bigs. Could have done a lot more. He pitched, I think he started, didn't get a pitch in the major leagues until he was 40 or so. It was 40 or 41. But yeah, what a great, great player. Thank you so much, Tom. <clears throat> All right, guys, just picked up a few CGCs from eBay. <laughs> and I actually was getting ready to shoot a video here about like. 30 minutes ago or so and um, I had these sitting up here just like that really careless of me I come back like an hour later not, and um, I found both the CGC books on the floor and um, I've already fucked one of them up look at this already. I don't even buy CGC books look what I just did look at this my idiot or what <laughs> this is how it was like it, it went fell on the floor and cracked so wonderful wow I'm <laughs> it's what you get for being careless but anyway yeah i do have a cgc 3.5 fantastic four number 37 and let's just say i didn't pay anything for it basically i got it so cheap it's unbelievable i got it less than what i would have paid for the unslabbed book so now obviously i won't get as much for it since i cracked the cgc case but oh well still a beautiful book and still still worth something you know what i mean <clears throat> And this one I was very, very, very thrilled to get. I already have both these books, but I got them so cheap that I just picked them up. I got a 5.5 um, Fantastic Four number 77. I almost never buy CGCs, but I got these so cheap that I um, just had to pop on them. So this one wasn't as cheap as the other one, but luckily, thank goodness, that, or thank whatever. Thank, I'm just very thankful this one didn't get damaged when they just fell. The big stack of books I just got. Satchel page, autograph included, fell, but nothing happened to it, thank God. So yeah. <clears throat> Nothing happened to it, but that's such a beautiful Jack Kirby cover. Look at that. Incredible. I could look at this all day. I'm going to keep this one for sure. I won't sell this one. I'll probably sell that other one on eBay. If anybody's interested in that other one, let me know. I'll probably sell it pretty cheap. All right. Moving on to the unslabbed books. But actually, guys, this is going to be a great haul. You guys are going to enjoy this. I mean, it's not Captain Strange Live quality, but, you know, good books. Here, I got Fantastic Four Annual Number 4 awesome didn't pay anything for it basically I paid about six dollars for it so it's very awesome it reprints the uh, fantastic four um battle of the hulk or fantastic or the thing versus the hulk number 25 and fantastic four 25 and 26 that's what i'm trying to say all right moving on i stumble for my words longer it's gonna be a 20 minute video if i don't shut up all right here is the atom number 12 i got this really cheap and these books were all sent in mylar which real nice mylar i was very happy to get those these books are just beautiful. I read this. It was a fun, fun read. My very first The Atom book. So I got that one. And I got The Atom number 11. This is a pretty nice shape. I think the top staple is popped. Other than that, it would be a real nice shape. So. But anyway, this is a fun book. This is like DC's version of The Ant-Man, I guess. It was a pretty fun read. I know Shannon collects these books right here. Mr. Solid 4ST Bend. He collects Kona, I'm pretty sure. I think that's where I saw most of these at in um, one of his videos. I finally got me, or actually this is my second Kona book, but I got this real cheap and sent to me in Mylar, which made it worth its while, you know. What a great cover. These covers are awesome. You guys could get some Dell. They look great in Mylar, too. <laughs> then I got some steals on some Amazing Spider-Man books from the same seller. I will probably be reselling some of these. Amazing Spider-Man number 54. It's about a VG minus or so. And um, got Amazing Spider-Man number 52. It actually is in good minus, good range. It looks really nice. It has tape along the spine, but the uh, I looked on the interior of the back. The last two pages, which are like um, non-story pages, someone cut them in half, so that's unfortunate. So, you know, that gives it a lower grade. 
then I've got Amazing Spider-Man number 51. <coughs> Excuse me while I cough. Listen, obviously these are all second copies for me. I already have these books, but um, I got them so cheap that I picked them up. So this is the second Kingpin, and um, the first time you see him on a cover of a book. So yeah, it's a great, great book. I'm kicking around the idea of selling this, but I might keep it. I don't know yet. Actually, I probably will sell it, but... And um, I picked up some really, really, really cool books. These are the ones that I'm really excited about. I picked up a, uh, an Atlas book, World of Fantasy. It's got Jack Kirby art. It's got Don Heck art. It's got Steve Ditko. Yeah, it's a very, it's a pretty bad grade. It's got tape all on the spine. Yeah, I think somebody even restapled it. But hey, I love these type of books. I will take these in any condition. Just speaking for reading value, if nothing else. Um, and yeah, Tales from the Crypt. That says it all right there. I'm so, so happy. I get this for $13, so. Oh, yeah, you're looking at it like, somebody filled in the from the with black paint, so I don't give a fuck. So what? This is Tales from the Crypt, man. These things are so hard to get. And, yeah, there's there's some tears down here. It's complete. I've already read it. This is a great read. Yeah, I'd much rather have the originals than the reprints any day. I don't care what condition they're in. So, yes, I was very, very, very happy to get that. And the last book I show you is Weird Fantasy number 7. This book is freaking awesome. Look at that cover. That's everything you'd want on a cover. Beautiful woman. Awesome perspective. Wow. Look at that. I'll tell you what. They don't make books like this anymore. And they, they don't make them graphic design like this either. You know? It's, I mean, so many... So many newer books are, are ripping and biting off these old EC covers. I mean, everybody wants to use this format right here just to kind of because it's so household, you know. It's just one of those formats that it's awesome. Although, what I just said didn't really elaborate a whole lot, but, but you know what I'm saying. Look at this. This is Weird Fantasy number seven. Low grade. But as I always say, low grade is better than no grade. I'm very happy to have this copy in any condition, even if it had dirt rubbed on it. And like Gimpy said, if it had bong hole written on it, I'd still want it. So you know what I'm saying? I am. A, I will take a book in any grade, just as long as it's complete. So thanks for watching, guys. Here are me on my soapbox and my nonsensical ramblings. Um, well, at least we got Billie Holiday in the background, so I can just keep rambling while you listen to her. <laughs> thanks for watching. Later.